It's dynamic, fun and hands-on in the early days of building a connected Internet of Things product. It involves pulling together the hardware, the software, the service and the application and then starting trials. Once your trials are successful, you're ready to scale. But growing from hundreds to thousands and maybe tens of thousands of devices and beyond brings a whole new set of challenges. That's because when you deploy products in the real world, they go wrong in many different ways. Bugs in your code, connectivity problems, users doing unexpected things, flat batteries. No matter what your product is supposed to do, sometimes it doesn't. That's your biggest obstacle to scaling. And failing to address this will cause huge damage to your brand. To scale successfully, you cannot address problems manually like you did in your trials. You have to automate. Automate every part of your process to keep costs sustainable and to keep your customers delighted. To manage connected devices successfully, you need to locate your device. Where is it? What is it? Who's got it? And what software is it running? Yes, as a connected product company, you will have a lot of this information in your databases. But have you built the system to give you easy access to this critical data in real time? And once you know where your assets are, you need to know how many of them are actually working right now. Chances are a fair number won't be and you need to be the first to know which ones aren't and have an efficient process to diagnose and fix them. You then need to make sure your product is kept in the best possible state. Take upgrades. You'll want to roll them out gradually and systematically while continually monitoring them to make sure that you're not breaking devices. Device Pilot delivers the full picture of all your connected devices in real time. And it's easy to integrate. You can be up and running in as little as five minutes. Device management is a challenge for every growing connected product company. By focusing on this specific challenge, Device Pilot achieves economies of scale, which gives you a better, faster and cheaper solution than you could build for yourself allowing you to focus on the core functionality of your product and on building your business. Whether you're researching, testing or deploying connected devices, you should experience Device Pilot for yourself. Please get in touch today to access our free trial. Device Pilot. Locate, monitor and manage your connected products at scale. Hello, today we're going to describe an IoT ecosystem that's built using standards from end to end. To introduce ourselves, I'm Pilgrim Beard, CEO of Device Pilot, which is the device management service for IoT. Previously, I started a company called AlertMe, uh, which is now known as Hive in the UK. And we became uh, the UK's largest connected home platform. We deployed millions of devices into homes. And it was there really that I learned a lot about the challenges of device management, which is why we're now doing Device Pilot. With me is Duncan Purvis, co-founder of Connect2 Systems. Connect2 Systems helps customers to integrate their equipment and sensors with IoT application platforms and control systems. They've developed edge gateway software and a management server that integrates with Device Pilot service. This is all based on the Open Mobile Alliance's lightweight M2M standard. Before co-founding Connect2 Systems, Duncan spent 15 years with IBM, where he was responsible for managing the first customer trials with mobile network operators and phone manufacturers of what was then a new standard for managing mobile phones called SyncML DM. SyncML DM moved to the Open Mobile Alliance when it was founded and became the OMA DM standard. And that, combined with Duncan's experience with M2M and the Internet of Things whilst at IBM and previously at Vodafone and Motorola, explains his support and enthusiasm for the lightweight M2M standard. So before we do a demonstration, we'd just like to talk a little bit about the architecture and components of this open IoT ecosystem.
In this demonstration, our hardware consists of wireless sensor nodes and a gateway from Advantec BNB Smartworks with software and integration from Connect2 Systems. The wireless sensor nodes are connected to each other and the gateway via the 6 low pan, low power mesh network standard, and each node has its own IPv6 address. The Edge Gateway software transmits sensor data directly to customer business applications using either MQTT or FTP standards. The Gateway also supports remote device management of both Gateway and wireless sensor nodes by connecting to a lightweight M2M server, Leshan in this case. The lightweight M2M server is connected to the Edge Gateway using the Constrained Application Protocol standard, COAP, using DTLS for security. The device pilot service then integrates with this lightweight M2M server via a RESTful web interface over a secure TLS connection. The Leshan server's northbound interface exposes the full lightweight M2M resource model and object hierarchy to device pilot. And for efficiency, device pilot uses the COAP observe pattern to receive push notifications when anything changes on the sensor network or the gateway. These events propagate in real time to device pilot using the server sent events standard. So, so much for the theory. Now let's get on and see this working in a real world demonstration. First of all, let's have a quick look at Device Pilot and just check that everything's working OK. And we can see that here in this simple demo setup, we've got five devices. They're all working fine right now and everything's OK. And if we drill down a little bit further, we can see our five devices and our gateway uh, and they all look fine. And we see some temperatures and other data coming back from the sensors. So here's one of our sensors. It, it's a temperature sensing node. Uh, with a couple of thermocouple inputs. And what's this? Some naughty person has completely unexpectedly unplugged one of the thermocouple inputs. Straight away on device pilot, we see an event being raised and an email being sent to the operations manager informing us of this problem. So that's it really, a very simple demonstration. But the important point is that this event has propagated through the entire network completely using standards. So in conclusion, we've seen a demonstration of a simple IoT ecosystem which uses open standards from end to end. And the consequences of that are that each part of that system is replaceable, which is great for the customer because it avoids lock-in, means they can buy from any vendor, and it also future-proofs them against changes in the future. They know that they can replace different pieces when they need to. And it also allows them to add new pieces to any part of the ecosystem. They can add new wireless sensor nodes to the existing mesh or new gateways, new servers, new device management, anything they like to truly build out an ecosystem. So really standards are great for everyone because for vendors, they lead to a faster, bigger market with more scale, more customers. And for customers, they lead to more choice and more quality because of that choice. This has been brought to you by Device Pilot and Connect2 Systems. Thank you very much indeed.